Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another, um, what you want to call this video? I don't know. Um, uh, house makeover. So, today's video is going to be about painting and, um, uh, putting painter's tape everywhere. I already cleaned my baseboards in the foyer area. So, cleaning that is just, you know, soapy water or some cleaning solution. I use the Lysol spray and I let this dry. And then now, it basically it dried overnight, well, well overnight. And then now I'm back in here putting the blue tape on. What you also want to do before you paint, if you have any marks or indications on your uh, baseboards, you can take your sand sponge here you can get this from home depot for like three or four dollars i think and you want to sand over those surfaces to make it smooth um with mine because this house is um still fairly new i don't have any of that here but i'm not using it for my baseboard i'm actually using this because there are some little holes we have in the wall for hanging stuff up and i'm gonna do that with spackle but i'll show you guys that along the way as i go um, to why i have this but to do our baseboards, we are using Gildan Premium Semi-Gloss Paint here. I got one gallon. I actually got three gallons of this, but um, you can buy about five gallons if you want. But I'm not going to do that because I only need three. Um, if I need more, then so what? So be it. I'll just go spend another 20 something dollars to get another one. But I have a two-inch paintbrush. Yes, my paintbrush is all painted up because I've been using it. Then I have the painter's tape here. And you can see the size there. You can use whichever size you want, but this is the size I have, 24. So the way we put this on. Yeah. Thank you. I'm just ripping off piece by piece because I want to get very precise to the, to the corners of this wall, as you can see here. So I just, I know I want that much. Cut it off. And then I'm going to push the bottom of the tape up to the wall first. Line it up. And I just always take my tape on top. I just never put it to the edge because I don't want any gaps in the tape because the way I'm ripping it. So I get to the very edge, the top of the baseboard. Oops. As clean cut as you can. Then I take my finger and I seal the bottom, my, the bottom first. By running my finger along the edge of here. And then I push the top along the side. And that's how you put the painter's tape on. Look how close that is. And I'm going to go ahead and do this to this whole area here. And then I'm also going to do it to the ceiling because we will be painting the walls as well. The color that I'm going with is, like I said, the baseboard is pure white. These are the two that I'm using. We're going to try this out on the wall. This is light French gray eggshell bit by Bear. And this comes from Home Depot. And this was like $348 for samples. And then this one is agreeable gray. From Sherwin Williams and this is the interior sample in satin agreeable gray 
And for those of you who are thinking about this paint, I'm going to do an up close and personal video with you guys when I get ready to put this on the wall so you guys can see it for yourself. And they tint this. From, from what I was told, paint come in white and then they tint the colors and mix them. So if you don't know about paint, like I don't, I, I was asking them so many questions in the paint store, but I got my answers though. So let's go ahead and finish doing this and we'll be back. Okay, so we're to the other side of my wall. You guys can see me. Now I want to show you guys something else here in this corner. You see that gap there? And this is how they put the boards on these on this house. Look, this is not even smooth. I don't know if it's because of the wood that they chose, but it's not smooth. Like, look at this side, smooth. But then it's very rigid right here. But I guess they say because no one's going to see it like they care. So what we're going to do, which is true, no one is going to see it. But what you can do if you want to fix it, just take your just take your sanding brush here. And I already started doing some of it. It was a big uh, spout out right there. So like you can see here, all you do is just smooth. Smooth that out. You don't have to, but it's up to you. Now, see it's coming along, but is it gonna be fixed all the way? No, but we can try. This saves you guys a ton of money. I'm not discrediting the painters out there because y'all do some good work, but when you want to do it yourself, just go ahead. You got plenty of time. And I'm doing this during the time of the coronavirus, so I got time on my hands right now. Plus it's spring and I have to start doing some spring cleaning because my family have allergies. So that's cleaning the baseboards, the walls, dusting everything, cleaning out the window sills, things along that, things in that nature. Oh, and I left off something. You want to use your dab here 
I got it in the gun. This is caulk that's going to seal off these cracks in between your walls. So before you start painting, all you want to do is uh, squeeze this out from your gun along the sides here like that. Then once you squeeze it there, you dip your finger or take a damp cloth or pick a damp cloth and, or just run your wet finger down this crack to smooth that out. I haven't got to that process yet because I wanted to get all the tape on first, but I just wanted to show you guys just in case if I forgot, you just squeeze that onto there and just run your wet finger or damp cloth down that hole until it's filled in, filled in and you let it dry and if you um and then you can paint over it. But I wouldn't recommend painting it while it's wet. Here's my daughter in there playing in her room. Out of my way. As long as she can stay in her room, I don't care. Out of my way. Sometimes you know you want to watch pulling your, your tape over on an edge like this because then it sometimes become off track and the tape won't be as neat to the top. So you just have to break it and make sure it's at the very top instead of you know above it. Yes. Um, can I shut my window? No. Nope. So can't keep going my window. That's okay. I'll get her. Okay. Can I still close my window? What? Putting this tape on, I don't know if you guys noticing or not, but I'm pulling the rim on this end straight before I even attach it to the wall, if that makes sense. So I'm pulling where well, this hand is, I'm pulling it tight so I can see to make sure it is flush to the top of the baseboard. So if you're new to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you never miss an upload from me. If you're old to my channel, thank you guys for tuning in and supporting my channel. Um, follow along with me with my journey with doing a makeover to my house. Um, if you have any suggestions along the way, please let me know. We're going from painting to ripping up this floor and to decorating. So I want you guys to see. I want your opinions. You know, just give me some of your input. What would you do with your space? All right, so I'm going to go ahead and finish this and I'll come back on here with another video when I get ready to do the painting. All right, thank you. Subscribe, like, thumbs up. Let's get this video up to at least, um, I don't know, 100 likes. Bye.